One really fun way to watch a big game is to zero in on a single matchup, and for this Celtics-Lakers final, there isn't a more intriguing battle than the one being waged between Pau Gasol and Rasheed Wallace. The two big men couldn't be more different temperamentally, but they've been absolutely locked in mortal struggle whenever they're on the floor together. It was definitely noticeable in Game 3, whether Gasol was trying to establish position down low or looking to work one-on-one, Wallace was all over him. And Gasol was more than happy to return the favor when Wallace was trying to find his spots in the Celtics offense. Thursday night in Game 4, the intensity between Gasol and Wallace was even grittier. It got started pretty soon after Wallace checked in the game toward the end of the first quarter. Here the ball goes into Gasol out on the right wing. A fairly upright Wallace wags and harasses Gasol. Wallace is challenging him to put the ball on the floor, and that's what Gasol does, as Wallace presses him against the baseline on the drive. Gasol has a lousy angle underneath and misses the layup, but after the outlet pass, Jordan Farmer strips the ball away from Nate Robinson, so Gasol gets another chance. But not if Sheed can help it. He delivers the best takedown of the finals thus far. Totally clean, reasonably physical, and spectacularly Wallace. The two gladiators are back at it on the very next Laker possession. The ball goes into Gasol at the elbow. There's a little split action behind him, but he keeps the rock for himself. And again, Wallace is playing right up on him. So Gasol goes to work off the dribble. He executes a pretty spin move, but Wallace pulls the chair out. The officials whistle Wallace for an errant foul, and things are just starting to get fun. The confrontation picks up again in the fourth quarter. First, Wallace goes to work on the left block, drawing the foul on Gasol. Then Gasol gets Wallace to bite on a slick up-and-under move for a bucket. But check out what happens next when Wallace decides to plan his route down court through Gasol's shoulder. Some of the best action between Wallace and Gasol occurs off the ball. This is the play that ends with Wallace's technical. And when you watch the whole possession, you can see how keyed up Sheed is. He and Gasol spar through the entire sequence. Gasol practically gets forced out of the play. Then Wallace ultimately comes over to contest Kobe Bryant's shot, which precipitates the foul and the tee. After Wallace drains a big three-pointer, Gasol answers with a runner. Then they go back into the trenches. Watch them here on the very next play bumping at the elbow as Wallace tries to get some space. And you can see the level of activity here off the right block as Gasol tries to get position and Wallace bodies up. Gasol never quite gets the space and form he needs for this shot. But with the game on the line, Gasol's not about to let Wallace even so much as set a pick. Just watch him stay attached to Sheed here. When you look around the court, there's not another offensive-defensive combination that's anywhere near this level of engagement. There were other players on Thursday night that rightfully got more attention than either Gasol or Wallace. But watching these two go at it gave you a full measure of the stakes.